viewers. Welcome to today's experiment. I am Oketa Patrick from Physics Department of Veritas University, Abuja. Uh, today's experiment is on relative density. Determination of the relative density of a solid material using balance meter. The apparatus needed for today's experiment are meter rule, set of mass, trade, a rental stand, a knife edge, and a beaker with water. So for this experiment, we will find the, the center of gravity of a uniform meter rule by setting the knife edge on the rental stand this way. We thereby try to balance the meter rule, placing it on the knife edge to know the center of gravity. After we determine the center of gravity, for this meter rule, my center of gravity is 49.9. So I will record it, my G is 49.9 centimeter. Thereafter, I take my thread and hang on the mass. I will hang my thread on, tie it to the mass in such a way that the mass will not fall off. So I have an unknown mass and, and a balanced mass. After I have tied it, I will now, since I know my center of gravity, at all points in this experiment, my center of gravity must be on that knife edge point. So I will now set this mass on 10 centimeter from beginning. I will set it on 10 centimeter. Thereafter, I will take the second mass and try and balance it at the other end making sure that my center of gravity is on the same point. So I will now balance six. So now when I set my mass on point 10, 10 centimeter, my balance point is on is on 10.9 centimeter. 10.9 centimeter. Now, I have to minus it from the point of the center of gravity. So I will now minus it from my center of gravity, which is 49.9 minus 10.9. Thereafter, I will adjust this with another five centimeter increment, which is 15 centimeter. Then I try with my points, T, my center of gravity is T on the knife edge. I adjust this side to balance it. I adjust it to balance it. And I am having at 15 centimeter, I am having 15.9 centimeter as my balance point. Then I also adjust this side to 20, since I am increasing by 5, 5 centimeter. Then I try to balance this point to, I try to balance it, making sure that my center of gravity is maintained. centimeter as my balance point. 
Remember that whatever value we get must be minus from the center of gravity. Thereafter, I shift it to 25, 30, and 35, and also balance them on the right hand side. After I have done that, the values I get are recorded as my D1, as my small letter D1. After I've gotten that, I will now move to the second side of the experiment. Now, with this mass set at point 10, and my center of gravity is still maintained at 49 points, I will now bring the beaker of water and put the mass inside. So, I place it in such a way that it will not touch, the mass will not touch the bottom of the beaker in order not to break it. In order not to break it, not touch it, in order not to break it. Then I now try to balance it at my right hand side. against 
d1 minus d2. After the graph, we will be asked questions such as finding the slope of the graph, determine the standard error of the slope, and what does the slope represent, and other questions that we follow up. Thank you, and with that we can calculate the relative density of this particular mass as our solid, as our solid. Thank you, and do have a nice day. May you watch this video. If you enjoy it, like it and subscribe onto it. Thank you.